I'm sorry for some inconveniences. We are starting something new today that we will be uploading these lessons on YouTube. So that's why um, they are here. I'm teacher Joshua Philemon of Barney Schools. And um, this topic is the fourth topic in grade four and fourth topic in grade three science and technology. The full name in some books, you'll find it wrote, uh, written ICT. It is ICT in some books. ICT, which I told you that it is, the long form is information and communication technology. So as a starter, we need to know the meaning of these words, communication versus information. How do they differ? Communication is the act of sending and receiving information. Kitendo cha kutuma tarifa na kupokea tarifa kinaitwa communication. While information is anything one tells another about somebody or something. Tarifa. Any ujumbe tarifa mbona unampatia mtu is what we call information. One tells another about somebody or something that's called information. Friend kafanya hivi. Those, that's information, but that's really act. Either by writing or talking, and sometimes using signs is called communication. Something which is passed from one person to another is what we call information. Uh -huh. Now, in this topic, we'll be discussing the ways through which people communicate, the means through which people communicate. So we have got uh, traditional means, means, traditional means of communication and artificial means of communication. Those are the two means of communication through which people do communicate. Now, the traditional means of communication so those are the traditional means. You see the horn right here. Though there are some cultures nowadays which are still using these traditional means of communication. I grew, I grew up in the village where um, hunters, when they, when they come from, from the from hunting and they come with the meat, they blow the horn, they blow the horn and so that people know that they have the meat and they go and buy. So um, the horn was, is one of the traditional means of communication. It was discovered even before modern technology. Hata kabla technology ya kisasa haijagunduliwa. Watu wa zamani kapsa likuwa kitumia. Other means of communication are uh, smoke, eh, smoke. Uh -huh. Horse, uh, sending the messengers, shouting or screaming. Uh, people use smoke in large forests. When you see to me, Kubwando, what one want to use smoke? How come you talk on a camp to another than Potak when you say, Boy Nikisiwa? When you bury, bury, when you see a Kubo, when I can see a bunch of Kina art. So an Asham motto, you emotion, I'll keep under you while you are moving on a owner come by the somebody there and they come and pick the guy. So uh, those are the traditional means of communication. We also have the modern means of communication. Now, after the modern technology, you see people nowadays using the MacBook. Here is the MacBook, MacBook from Apple. I love Apple. So uh, um, MacBook is one of the tools which are the result of modern means of communication. The modern means of communication are the result of modern technology. And they include letter writing, uh, using faxes, telegrams, publishing the flyers, telephones, printing the magazines. Uh, all those are the modern means of communication. These are the ways through which people communicate nowadays. Now, um, mm, uh, to that point, I would love to ask some of you the questions. So if you have questions, you may ask. Deborah, Daniel. Yes. How are you? I am fine. Do you enjoy the lesson? Yes. Uh -huh. Have you got some questions maybe? No. No question? Yes. Oh, 
Okay, if you don't have any question, but I'll have, I'll have questions for you later, so get prepared. If you don't have any question, I may ask you questions later. Anyway, thank you, Deborah. Um, Ronnie. Yes. Ronnie Boy. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Do you have any question? No. No question? Yeah. Oh, I'll have questions for you though later. Um, I'm the last. I'd love to listen from Shadai. Shadai? Yes? Do you have any question or something additional? No. No question? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now let's proceed. Let's proceed. Um, now let's talk about the telephones. Telephones. Telephones are everywhere. People are now obsessed with telephones. You know, when you get out from your room and you're walking maybe to somewhere and you don't have your telephone, you're forgetting your telephone, the day, the whole day is ruined. Eh? So telephones have become the part and parcel of our lives. Now, um, how can a telephone help us? Telephones are very, very important. Telephones help, we, we, telephones help us to communicate by writing, uh, by speaking, and through writing, people do communicate by, uh, by sending SMS now, SMS. Can you ikupa? Ikupa girl? Yeah. Ikupa? Yes. Tell me the long form of SMS. Tell me the long form of SMS. SMS. What's the long form of SMS? Hmm? You don't know. Good. Thank you for being very frank. Um, who else? Suleiman? Suleiman? Yes. Tell yes. me the long form of SMS. SMS? I don't know. Oh. Can you please raise up your hand if you know the long form of SMS? Raise up your hand. Ronnie? Yes? SMS. Short message service. Good, good boy, good boy. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, Ronnie. SMS, the, the, uh, the long form of SMS is short message service. Short message service. Yeah, so people do communicate through SMS. Uh, people do communicate through speaking. Eh? And nowadays, actually, it has been, it have, it have been widened. Actually, people do communicate through videos, eh, pictures, a lot, a lot of things. So telephones... Uh, remain to be very important in our lives. Okay. Now, um, we sh you should actually bear in mind, should actually bear in mind that a telephone is a communication tool that transmits and receives sound waves. So the work of a telephone, the principal work of a telephone is to transmit and receive sound waves. Uh -huh. And um, types of telephones now, we have two types of telephones. We have the landline and the mobile telephone. The landline telephone uses a wire. And this you see right here is a landline telephone. And you can see the wire. You can see the wire right here. You can see this is the wire. So is a phone which uses a wire to pass information. So um, they are mainly used in offices, and they, are, they were actually plenty before the discovery of these, uh, of, of these mobile phones. They were plenty. But on the other side, a mobile telephone uh, is a phone which you can carry with us wherever we go. So you can move, from one, you can move with it from one point to another very easily, right in your pocket. So um, that's about a mobile telephone. Now, um, mobile phones are of two types. We have, uh, we have ordinary phones or standard phones or dumb phones. 
So it's like this was swado. This was swado. Eh? Ah, now the 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 English name is ordinary phone or sometimes standard phone. And this, uh, which is not very formal, dumb phone. These ones have smaller screens, 14 buttons. Uh, sometimes they can be more. This, uh, this one is the ordinary phone, is the Kiswaswadu. Mm -hmm. This is the screen, it has the screen. And it also has the keypad. This is the keypad. This is the keypad. Now, um, um, the, key, the keypad has buttons. These are the buttons, buttons. But on the other side, this is the smartphone. This is iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> One of the expensive, very expensive smartphones in the world. Very expensive. Not the most expensive though, but very expensive. Eh, but this one will cost you a lot, a lot of money. Now, a smartphone is a phone which can perform many functions of a computer. Smartphone is a phone which can perform many functions of a computer. Well, smartphone is a phone which can perform many functions of a computer. While an ordinary phone is a phone with a small screen, 14 buttons. 14 or more buttons, yeah. Uh -huh. So to that point, we are actually done. And um, let us use this, uh, we, are, we are actually done with today's lesson. We will use these few minutes to discuss these questions. Though we won't finish them all, we discuss some of them because you have only 40 minutes and not longer time our lesson will be over. So, um, may, uh, Deborah? Yes. Um, number one, what is, just tell me the answer. Not, don't read the question. Tell me the answer for the sake of time. Communication. Good, good. Communication is the act of sending and receiving information. Communication. So number one, the answer is communication. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, Deborah. Mm. Um, this is Ikupa. Ikupa, I'm trying to... Turn on your microphone. Yes, the Cooper. Yes. Number two, what's the answer? Don't read the, the question. Just tell me the answer. Information. Good, good. Very good, e. Cooper. The Number two, the answer is information. Thanks a lot, e. Cooper. Uh huh. Um, Michelle Kameme. Michelle, girl. Michelle. Yes. Michelle, number number three. What's the answer? Number three. Oh, Michelle. Michelle is still meditating. Um, Ronnie boy. Yes. Number three? Traditional means of communication. Traditional methods of communication. Thank you, Ronnie. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me go back to, uh, let me go to Suleiman. Suleiman, you'll be the last to answer. Number four. Modern means of communication. Exactly, modern means of communication. So it's been pleasurable having you right here. It's been very great having you right here. So